rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So let's get right into it. The It's Going Down rapper Young Jock has been getting clowned for three days straight because basically he accidentally sent $1,800 to the wrong person via Zelle. Summer make it rain, I ain't scared to share. And then he quote unquote begged for it back and then shamelessly posted it to his IG and people have been having field days about it and he has just, just responded to those people. But before we get into that, let's rewind a little bit. So three days ago, he posted this text message to a 678 number and he showed the whole number and the message says, hi, can you please return the $1,800 that I mistakenly sent to your account via Zelle? I don't know you, nor do you know me. Please do the right thing. God has a bigger blessing for you. I know you've blocked my number and that's okay. I just need the $1,800 that was sent to your account via Zelle. And then he wrote on top of that, can y'all please call this number and ask them to return my money? Shrug. And it's captioned, so I sent them a Zelle by mistake and they won't return my money. Can y'all please call and text them and ask them to return my little change? Oh, we feel so bad for him. First of all, Jock has eight children, so that's a whole lot of money every month to keep them afloat. And that man does about any job that he can get to afford a roof over his head. Jock, where you stay? Remember when he was living in that bachelor pad with a roommate? Scrappy. And they were paying like $600, so you know money is tight for Jock. And let's not forget that these rappers love to use him in their songs as a point of reference when talking about being broke. Yikes. For example. Fuck on broke like Jock. Fuck that dog like B. Mm. And let's not forget that he drove for Uber once upon a time and probably still does on the side. It's kind of like a bucket list thing. Yeah, I got somebody to pass. You know, I just had to pull over. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but it just shows you that he's not that rich rapper that some may think that he is or that he was. Pocket full of bitten frames. Okay. All in all, I say that to say that he clearly needs the $1,800 and having eight kids alone solidifies that, but many disagree and some can even relate. So let's take a look at some of the reactions. This person wrote, man, someone sent me like $1,500 one day by accident. I sent that money right back. The type of bad karma you will endure isn't worth it. You may not feel it right away, but that $1,800 gonna cost much more. This one wrote, same thing happened to me with someone. I sent them the same message, no response, nor did I get any money back. Gotta be careful with Zell since it's instant. Hope you get it back. This girl wrote, crying, laughing. Why stuff like this don't happen to me? I would have at least sent you $80 back. Oh, wow. I mean, they were going and going. This girl wrote, I sent somebody $1,400 and tried to request my $1,400 back on Cash App and sent them another $1,400. I was $28 in the hole. Ain't had a Cash App since. Crying, laughing. Wow. This person wrote, dang, I wish young Jock would bless my cash app by mistake. Mama need them 1800 right now. Crying, laughing. This person wrote, imagine being down on your last $20, crying on your knees, asking God to make a way, and then young Jock sends you 1800 God don't make mistakes. Crying, laughing. Young Jock is about to go put in a missing persons report for that $1,800. Crying. This girl wrote, young Jock wouldn't get that money back. He's getting checks from being on the radio and for being a clown for Mona Scott Young. He'd be fine. No one told him to have all that unprotected SEX and keep getting women pregnant. This guy wrote, young Jock really popped. Don't get me wrong, I'ma be on fire if I accidentally sent $1,800, but he was acting like it was the end of the world for him. He clearly got more followers than dollars. And someone replied, laughing my ass off, yeah, for him to even post, it was crazy. This person wrote, LOL, young Jock did, crying, laughing. And when someone tweeted, y'all really would not send people their money back if they sent it to you by mistake on Cash App? And under it, somebody responded, I would send it back to anyone except young Jock, crying, laughing. Yeah, they were just clowning him, y'all. Y'all get the gist of it, but yeah. When someone asked Jock, were you gonna give them more if they returned it? He replied, God would. Now, let's get to his latest response from 33 minutes ago. He made this post. Solid, how you looking, shit? And captioned it regarding my post the only reason i'm sending this real into the universe if you saw any post regarding this matter i need you to look in the comments to see if it's anyone in the comments that you may know if in fact you do see someone you know read their comment now if they say they will return the money that's someone you can trust if they say no they wouldn't return the money 
get far away from them because they will take from you too. If they are calling me broke because I'm simply asking for my money back, never make the mistake of helping them up when they are down because that very person will say you're tripping about that little funky ass change you let them borrow. This is simply an assessment of merit and honesty. It's never okay to honor bottom feeder behavior. Hmm. And under that, when someone told him that this mistake jock is on you, he said, I accepted that the moment I realized I made it. Look at your mentality. You still don't get it. And when this person wrote, whoever received the money and didn't return it, gonna have hell and karma 2023. I can't stand the thief. Your tax check gonna be 1800 short for that. Jock gonna end up with 18 million. He wrote, we're not gonna wish any ill upon them. It was my mistake. I just don't like how people are coming at me for wanting what's mine, lol. And when this person wrote, that 1800 messed up this man's spirit, crying, laughing. He wrote, not the money I will get back 100 times fold. It's the mindset of us, our people. Hmm. Yeah, it sucks because had it been through an actual card or even PayPal, you can dispute those charges depending on how you sent it. But honestly though, if someone sent me some money through Zelle or Cash App by mistake, I don't know how I would respond. Honestly, I'm thinking that I would keep it, but if they beg for it back, my heart wouldn't let me, so I would probably return it. How about y'all? And be honest here, let's not even make it $1,800. Say if somebody sent you $5,000 by mistake on one of these apps that they cannot get it back from and you won't be held accountable because it was their mistake, would you? keep it be honest and sometimes like you have to show them what humility is and you have to show people you're not too big to do the right thing by making an honest living i think a lot of times that's why our kids and even adults go astray because they're too ashamed and too prideful man what are your thoughts overall on young jock we really want to know so leave them below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more and don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang pettyblog.com signing out